All right, let's talk about players we love, Jamie. Who are we firing up this week? Uh, well, I hope I don't ruin this guy, but uh, Jalen Hurts is the start of the week. So um, uh, I think you've seen kind of the floor uh, each of the last two weeks based on his rushing production, uh, 21 and 24 fantasy points. So I'm hoping that's the worst. Uh, the best is, uh, I still think, yet to come. Uh, we saw uh, a snippet of that in week one. I think we're going to see it again in week four. Uh, the projected total is 54 and a half. So I think they'll have to keep point, keep up with the Chiefs offense. Uh, garbage time will matter because they're a touchdown underdog at home, which is never a good sign. Um, but yeah, the, the rushing is is what is is the important part here for him. And they struggled with a rushing quarterback already when Lamar Jackson went for 102 touchdowns. So hopefully Jalen Hurts does the same thing. I don't know how much this matters to anybody, but the Chiefs, I think, gave up seven rushing touchdowns to quarterbacks last year. This is something that they struggled with last year. They've got you know similar personnel, and they're giving up the most yards per play in the NFL. All right, so Jalen Hurts is the start of the week. Heath, who do you love this week? I, I've got, I'm going to give you my full progression of who, how I was going to answer this question. So first, I thought, you know, I've got DeAndre Swift at number four, RB4 in PPR. It's, I'll just say, I, I talked about DeAndre Swift enough. I got Alexander Madison at RB5, but Dalvin Cook might play. I've got Sony Michelle at RB10, but Daryl Henderson might play. So I'll say Chuba Hubbard. I uh, I expect that he will get two thirds of the Christian McCaffrey role, and I've got him at RB eleven. I think he uh, probably gets twelve to fourteen carries, catches five plus passes. I'm not totally sold. This Dallas defense is very good, especially against running backs. I think Chuba gets into the end zone and is a, a number one running back. Sony Michelle number ten though. If there's no Daryl Henderson, absolutely yes. You've got a you've got a, a favorite in a game that has a huge over under, a guy that's getting all the running back touches against a defense that's giving up five and a half yards per carry. Okay, like it's everything you want in a running back matchup. Yeah, Rams facing Arizona and pot potential bonanza. I can't use Seattle or Minnesota. They they were last week, so yeah, that's probably that's probably going to be it. And I I got it right last week, people. So every just everyone just relax. Yeah, last week. Don't tell Tyler Lockett that. <laughs> nah, or Russell Wilson. But everyone else did great. <laughs> Minnesota and Seattle. I had to once You believe that game didn't hit the over? I can. Yeah, no. Nah, that should be part of your bonanza. It's got to hit the over. All right, I accept. I accept that. Uh, no, that's BS. Like, the, it had already really high over. So, uh, 